Hey folks, I'm just out here enjoying the winter sun. Well, I say enjoying, it's freezing here in the UK and um, I'm still just trying to catch uh, some vitamin D and um, do your best to, to do that. Supplements are great, but if you can possibly get some sunshine, 15 minutes really is all it takes to, uh, to get some sun on you and get some uh, vitamin D into your system. Um, my thoughts this morning, um, I've tried to in my mind break down this this question the most common question how long would it take me to heal how long would it take me to heal if I do these things the whole foods plant-based diet the hydration the sleep etc and really there's two types of you out there there's really two types of people out there and um, the first type just to really broadly split things there's the type of person that has been born with the condition from birth they've had eczema I mean proper eczema and the other type of person is they've developed it after the age of 10 15 so they've developed it later on in life and um, the reason why those are so uh, clear those two types of people is the people who have been born with the condition it's much deeper of a problem than the people that have uh, developed it in their own life because there's a much higher chance it's not for sure but there's a much higher chance that the people that have developed it later on in life in their own life um, it, there's a much higher chance that their own lifestyle has been a big player in in them uh, getting eczema in the first place so that means that there's a higher chance if we change around those lifestyle factors um, we're going to see results more quickly but that's not to remove hope from the people that have been born with the condition because there are plenty of people who have uh, healed eczema even though they were born with the condition and um, I place myself personally kind of in between the two because I was always uh, from birth with a tendency for dry skin but I didn't have full-on eczema until later on in my teens where it was uh, you know more um, essential for me to to take action and do something about it up until that point I could live with the dry skin the kind of flaky dandruff type situation that I had going on so how long will it take me to heal so those are the two types of people those are the two types of people for the second group for those of you who have developed eczema later on in life it is reasonable for you and there's plenty of caveats I'm going to put in this but it's reasonable for you to expect results within six months it's reasonable for you to get out of the woods within six months as long as you are educated dedicated and motivated on this lifestyle as long as you are not still jumping around you're not still trying lots of different things um, and you are fully aware of what you're doing and you're in charge of your own healing process you're not just following guidelines or a meal plan or something from somebody else but you've taken this on board yourself as long as you do those things and you're in that second group it's reasonable for you to be out of the woods within six months with the first group those of you who are born with the condition I have seen people who sorry I'm just watching the red kites here no idea if you can see that beautiful birds um, I live in a part of the UK where there's lots of red kites they're birds of prey um, sorry distraction um, <coughs> if you're in that first group and you were born with eczema there is still a high chance for you to get results within the first six months that you're happy with there's, a, there's still a high chance that you can get to a place where your skin is better than it has ever been before within the first six months because these things that we talk about these lifestyle changes these factors for um, detoxification nutrition they're powerful they're really powerful and um, especially things like the garlic program and enemas and this type of thing these have a medicinal impact on on your life they are as impactful as using a pharmaceutical product 
So look, I just want to encourage you all again to take strength, like I'm taking strength from the sun here right now. Just take strength from the seeds that you already have, the, the things that you already know. You are going to be a product of your own education, your own dedication to this, and your own motivation for, for going forwards with it. Just um, try not to be too reliant on somebody else's information. I know that's, um, that's kind of weird for me to say because... Um, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to teach you things, but um, what I really try to teach you, and the reason why I don't really give out meal planners and that sort of thing, is because I try to put the seeds in place first, and I want you guys to plant those so that you come to the conclusions that you need to to come to. I don't want to feed you a fish. I want to teach you to fish for life. And once you have the things in place that that you need to go forwards you're you're going to build on that that's going to be your own personal foundation to to grow and really get results for yourself